Good evening and welcome to the benefits of uh, Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Thursday the 8th of April, the Thursday of Easter week. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, who's having a short break away. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us by our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O Lord, make speed to save us. O God, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our Compline hymn, Spoken. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 101, starting at the first verse and then jumping to the 21st verse, is I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forward. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is the Leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. A short reading from the book of Revelation chapter 22 Verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, 
for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, alleluia, as he promised to you, alleluia, alleluia. We come this night, gracious Lord, in gratitude for all that you have given us. We pray that you will remind us of the joys of your creation. And that we pray that all of us who mar the beauty of this small part of the universe should be reminded of our responsibility to keeping it as pristine as we are able. We are reminded tonight as well of all those who are suffering, who are afraid, who are lonely, and we ask you to be with them bringing them your grace and then your joy and your love. And we call to memory in our hearts and the silence of our thoughts those people for whom we wish for special care. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night, wa look, night watch looks for you in the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this service of night prayer of Compline. Uh, there will be a service of morning prayer tomorrow morning at nine o'clock and another service to close the week at six o'clock of night prayer and Compline in this benefice. Have a safe night and know that you are loved by your creator. Bye for now. <laughs>